Pisces. Happy Pisces season. Happy birthday too. Turquoise, Tracy, Beth, Janine, Bain, Queen T, Aji, Anu, Daniela, and Miriam. Thank you so much for submitting your names for the free tarot reading giveaway contest. I'm going to pull one name this week on Friday, and we'll continue doing that every Friday through Pisces season. And everybody whose name I just read, you'll get an email from me today with one card pull and a little personalized message for you around that tarot card. Okay, let's get into this. So I got this new special Oracle deck. I'm going to pull one of these since it's Pisces season and I'll leave it for the end. But we have White Owl. I almost said White Owl. Okay. Okay, Jess. White Owl. All right. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the beautiful Pisces Collective today. What insights does a Pisces Collective need? Okay, Emperor in reverse. Could be changes in um, the workplace, changes in stability, security. Could be dealing with an Aries, of course. Um, in reverse, they could be somebody controlling or trying to exhibit control, or they might just be feeling out of control. Judgment in reverse could be not, not answering some kind of call or not making like a judgment call or decision around that yet. Maybe in regards to this person or the situation. This could be work, like this could be authoritative, could be establishments, like a business company that you're with, management, if it's not a person. Alternatively, it could be... <clears throat> Not answering a judgment call as it pertains to your empire. For those of you who are building an empire right now in terms of businesses, I don't know, real estate. You know, if you're like juggling um, a lot of things. It could just be like your day-to-day -day life, right? Like your home, your children, your job, managing all of that. Six of Swords in reverse. So that's usually somebody coming back around or a resistance to leave something. And then boom, Nine of Wands. That's that perseverance. That's like go, 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 continuing to go. But here, this is like, you know, the Wounded Warrior energy in the traditional deck. It like gives that energy of getting back up again and again. But here... It's like releasing those wounds, releasing those stories, releasing those experiences into the ether for transmuting. So there's like a healing and releasing energy with this nine of wands. I'm curious, Pisces, if there's something that you know professionally or in terms of like whatever brings you security and like um, groundedness. I'm curious if there's something you're resisting leaving behind or it could be like an approach is there like an idea that you're resisting on acting on is there a direction you're resisting going towards um but we do have this releasing so let's see what else comes up what else do we have for pisces this is big transformation energy to that um the moth, right, coming out of that chrysalis. Okay, Father of Wands underneath the Emperor. So this is a lot of fire energy, right? Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The Emperor and Father of Wands, when they come out like this aligned in some capacity, I would assume that this is tied together in some way. Especially if this is people, um, if anybody has, for those of you who have your own business or you're involved in um, creative collaborations and things like that, there may, there may be, you know, you put the pieces where they go, there may be something like out of whack here, like lacking a little of confidence or feeling like not in complete control of like the, again, I keep getting direction with the direction you want to take things, the direction you want to move into the, it's like there's some kind of movement, but we'll see. Okay. And then star here it is. Star is like, it's not just healing. It's like letting yourself shine bright. It's letting this star light the way, right? This is the way home deck. It's following following the light of that star to illuminate your path. And there's, it's actually, there's a little nod towards sunrise here. I don't know if you can tell in the video. Let me see. Yeah, you can see that, right? That's like um, the beginning hint of sunrise. See how dark the sky is? And the sun's coming up. That's the North Star. So there's like, again, this um, direction, North Star. For those of you who feel like you're on the path, but you're like waiting for this next like 
where do I go? What do I do? Which way do I turn? Or like you're getting the downloads, maybe the, um, what do you call them? Yeah, like downloads the intuitive pings from your spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, but you're like, it's like not entirely clear to you yet. Your fire's still burning and you're trying to release fear, I think. Six of swords, ten of swords. And this is, this is all the old programming. Like, um, we're at the point now, Pisces, where we're in expansion mode. If you're, if you're into tarot and personal development and, and this like spiritual, um, healing, you're on a different playing field now where you're not operating out of this anymore. You're operating this now, right? You're not operating from the subconscious. You're peering into the subconscious, into the old programs, the old codes, the old storylines that you have in your mind, right? The old ouch, the old wounds that like dictate how we respond to things. A lot of times when this comes up in this, in this kind of topic, this is like fear and those self-limiting beliefs, right? Um, but it's deeper because the fears are probably, oh my God, my left eye is twitching up a storm right now. The fear is probably rooted in, in a deeper wounding, like a deeper setback or holdback. Sometimes those are so deep into the shadow that it's hard for us to access them until they're made like a little bit louder, a little bit more visible. I'm, I would be curious if there's like a resistance to this direction, this change, this... Um, it feels exciting though. Like I feel very excited for this, but it, it just feels like there's a resistance in the go there's my sister says can you push your go button faster and that's what I'm feeling is like can you push your go button faster but not like in the you know hyper vigilant uh way just like trusting yourself but let's see let's get a little more two came out father of pentacles in reverse and then nine of swords yeah anxiety nine nine divine plan you're on the path kids you're on the path Okay. Father of Pentacles is this like is achievement energy. This is having climbed the mountain and sitting at the top looking down at this view, thinking like, I did that, like I climbed that. But it's like you haven't climbed it yet, and maybe this is what you're facing, climbing a mountain. But you know the view at the top is going to be unreal. But Nine of Swords is um, anxiety. It's fear. It's a lie. Which is good. This is good. Because it's not real. It's BS. Bye. <laughs> it's not real. It's old code that we have the ability to rewrite through like positive brainwashing. Okay. And just make sure you're not lying to yourself about what you are able to do and not able to do. There's some introspection energy here. Now we have 999 and that is like wrapping up a cycle, right? That's like you are, <laughs> it's like that, this cycle that you're closing is like the last string before boom, you're catapulted into the ocean of expansion on a life raft maybe. And maybe that's why you're aware and you're like nervous, like, I don't know what any of that's going to look like, though. So I'm tiptoeing. I'm try I'm waiting until someone pushes me. I think that's what's happening here. All right, let's get a little more depth. Oh, so sorry. Why is the Emperor in reverse for Pisces? The moon on this beautiful new moon in Pisces. And it's card number 18 breaks down to nine. That's wild. That's wild. She's talking, right? And this is a subconscious card. This is like things unseen, things unknown, being afraid of the unknown, being afraid of the vastness of the ocean that you are stepping into in this next new chapter, whether it's like being completely single and not knowing you know where that road's gonna take you or direction in career or like leaving an industry leaving a job not know starting an llc not knowing if this is gonna take off asking yourself 
can tarot really be a profession full time? I mean, that's something <laughs> I, I ask that all the time. But yeah, it can be. Keep going. Trust yourself. Trust that intuition, right? Balancing your inspired, your light energy and your shadow, transmuting these fears so that you can shine. Oh, God. Look, the Empress, you're you're creating something right now. You're manifesting something right now. And it's like spirits, like you're, you can do it now. You don't have to wait. But there's like, there's this little pull and it's from the inside of this baby doll. <laughs> Judgment in reverse, so not answering that calling, right? Wow, being clarified by Four of Cups, and this is the something's coming in, and either it's in and you don't see it, or it's coming in and you might and you won't notice it at first. You might be focused elsewhere. You might feel bored or stagnant. You might even be like going through the day to day, feeling like this is so monotonous. Like I cannot keep going. Like like something has to freaking change, right? But um, it looks like something comes in and you haven't noticed it or you might not notice it. So this is good too. This is like, get excited, get hyped. Like it's either here or it's about to be here. We just have to look for the little things. I think that really is the key with anything spiritual in our awakening path is um, if you can notice the small things, I think the smaller, the sign synchronicity presence of something, um, the stronger your observation and intuitive skills become because it's easy to notice a million dollars it's easy to notice one thousand and ten dollars being transferred to your stripe account when someone so generously and accidentally <laughs> donated that amount of money for the meditation today right that's like a number I, you know i'm playing because that happened but you know if you you would notice a thousand dollars accidentally being put in your bank account right but would you notice like somebody holding a door for you somewhere right or like you know someone inviting you into a career meeting or conversation that could lead to something right it's like if we can notice the smaller things that's when i think things will happen faster for us and as i say fast i pull out the knight of pentacles six of swords in reverse knight of pentacles this is slow moving energy maybe this is an opportunity um like Whatever it is that you're creating, whatever direction you're going in or whatever expansion you're trying to facilitate for yourself right now, right? We're all doing it. Some people are focusing on healing, some are love, some are career, some finance. Some are just trying to figure out like, oh my God, I'm having an awakening and I don't know what the frick my life is going to look like, right? There may be resistance getting on that boat or moving faster because there's a part of you that's aware of how slow and how little... The changes are going to be maybe how slow, you know, the turn, the, the reflection of your outer world will become. Um, and sometimes that's we sometimes we fear slowness for those of those of you of anxious attachment. Um, sometimes the slowness is healthy and like needed, but it may feel scary and uncomfortable because you just, it's like, you just want it, like, boom, confirmed. You just want the confirmation that you're not crazy, the confirmation that you can do this, the confirmation that it's going to work out, right? Otherwise, you feel so, so, so anxious. But I think moving slower and sitting with that discomfort, accepting the slowness, that might be the medicine for some of you. Some of you are like, slow is good with me. Yeah, the star in reverse. I'm going to stick with that. I think slowness, I think slow and steady wins the race. Do a little bit every day. Can you make one small step every day towards this alignment? I think that's going to be the medicine and heal that heart chakra. Okay, nine of wands. Why is this nine of wands here? What are we releasing, spirit? Just one card, please. Five of wands in reverse. Um, I think the training period is over. <laughs> I think really, I'm so serious. I know this is very, this is more spiritual reading, but I'm like leaning more and more that way as we go on. Um, the end to the training, you've passed, guys, you've passed the test. Like, I think you're here. You're here where you are. You are where you're supposed to be. 
you've like learned enough. Sometimes we go on these benders of learning, right? Like, what else can I look into? What else can I learn about? And now it's like, apply, just go, let yourself fly. Let yourself fly. Oh my God, yeah, and the sun. Card 19 breaks down to 10. That's the completion of a cycle. This is wish fulfillment. Doesn't she look like she's flying? Her arms spread open. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. For those of you. For those of you. Okay. God bless. Why is the Father of Wands in reverse here? Air, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. <clears throat> Energy. I'm not going to keep these, but I want to show you who popped out. That, to me, is confirmation that this emperor, whether it's abstract, like establishment, your empire, your job, industry or um, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or somebody that embodies it. It's like confirmation that this is this. Okay. Oh boy, why is this Father of Wands here? I feel so out of breath with this reading. King of Pentacles, now he's out here twice. This is your success. And it's like, you're not, you might feel out of control because you don't know what's gonna come. And the, you know the transformation's happening and you don't know. It's like, maybe you're like overstimulated with this actually. Maybe you're like looking very, very hard everywhere for the changes. Maybe we need to be a little more still. Um, but like your confidence is out of whack. Like it's, it's coming. You are gonna be successful. You are gonna be this king of pentacles energy. Money right, money tight. Success. And if it's not money that you're working towards, if this isn't a career thing. Your, your pentacle is whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Is it healing? Is it a relationship? Is it communication? Is it an offer? You know what I'm saying? Okay. And why is the star here? Pisces, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. If you need to, if you need to be hyped up, just, this is why we have this community, right? Like drop in the comments if you need it, if you need a hype. I mean, there's so many hype kings and queens and emperors and empresses in this collective but i'm also happy to hype you the star what needs healing right trusting the way allowing yourself to navigate using your intuition and the starlight as your north star your guidance and that sunrise right this is the healing is letting yourself go forth on this journey to release yourself of the lie right now we have eight nine ten boom that'll be freedom for you eight nine ten when you release the self-limiting beliefs that are giving you anxiety that you know are rooted in the subconscious you know that these are lies that were programmed into you either from this lifetime or the others just because this is present doesn't mean it's truth and it doesn't mean that that's your sentence this is just the energy that's coming up that you will and do have full control over transmuting and maybe you already knew this and this reading honestly i feel like a lot of times people are watching tarot and you're just looking for confirmation right i'm not gonna keep these but to me it's like the same energy but a different card knight of swords motion quick movement um speedy action having a plan and making a move and then the chariot in reverse is like feeling stuck. So there's this like, there's this like conflicting energy of stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. That's okay. Why is the 10 of swords here for Pisces? And 10 is that completion of a cycle. Past people, of course. Shout out to the right arm tattoo, right shoulder tattoo. Um, Gemini energy. Past people past relationships, past um, dynamics within family members, things that maybe you saw in your parents' relationship, things you saw growing up um, that you now have kind of imprinted on your DNA and like you're believing it. Um, or of course, it could be past friendships, relationships, romantic partnerships, right? All of these things are like part of the collection of swords that will help tell these stories of like why you can't do something. But it's even if all those things were yours and not like things you witnessed, it still doesn't mean you can't do these things. It means that you're like even more equipped to do these things, Pisces. And that's Harmony, kids. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in reverse is clarifying the Knight of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Of course you have fear about, of course you have fear about not achieving what it is that you're setting out to achieve of course that fear is here 
Well, can I get another one for this? But again, fear is not fact. Six of Pentacles. That's equal give and take. Equal give and take between you, your higher self, and the universe. Today, you set an intention. You have a visualization of what you want to manifest. And then you set out that aligned action, right? We talked about this at the meditation just now. When you set out that aligned action, but not grinding, not overdoing it, you're putting out the vibration to the universe of what you want. And then the universe will match you. So your fear is in not succeeding when all you need to do is put out what you want to receive. And this is saying you will receive it. Ten pentacles plus six pentacles is 17 pentacles. No, Jessica, it's not. It's 16 pentacles, <laughs> which breaks down to seven pentacles. And seven pentacles is that it's another slow card. It's long-term investment. It's doing a little bit every day knowing that the return on your investment is going to be worth it oh my god that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy and you're it's scary that's okay it's okay to be scared and it's okay to not want to do it alone it's really okay to not want to do it alone but you're not i'm with you people in this collective are with you no one here is alone no one here is alone. No one here is alone. All right, where are we at? I'm just talking, talking, talking. Oh, Pisces, you're a beautiful soul. All right, white owl, page 59, breaks down to what? 14, breaks down to five, so that's change. The white owl has been a recurring symbol spanning thousands of years. Their white color is often associated with purity and youthfulness. The white owl embodies all species of owl's traits in readings, knowledge, wisdom, and exceptional insight. <laughs> they have extraordinary long-range vision for hunting prey. This ability to see through distance, <laughs> six of swords, knight pentacles, and time gives the reader a clear insight into what actions are needed when a message is delivered. In Dreamscape Oracle, owl, owls are messengers who carry critical communications in and out of the portals. It's time to undertake a new spiritual pursuit. Ponder the cycle of life and death. You can't. Okay. New pursuit. This is all your spiritual journey, kids. Whatever it is that you are... Um, setting to setting out to achieve, attract, manifest. I'm telling you guys, if you're scared, it's okay. If you feel alone, it's okay. You're not alone. You don't want to do it alone. You're not doing it alone. We're all doing it alone together. <laughs> Pisces, I love you very, very much. I know this was like a weird 5D reading now. Um, I love you. I will see you tomorrow for the birthday baby shout outs and another reading. And I'll catch you soon. Have a good new moon, Pisces. Bye.